Hello and welcome to the Late Night Retro Halloween Countdown starring the Wizard of Video Games. I am the Wizard of Video Games, star of the Late Night Retro Halloween Countdown starring the Wizard of Video Games. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, the Wizard of Video Games is a board certified magician and retro Halloween specialist. Halloween is here. This is it. This is definitely it. We've reached the end of the countdown. Thanks to the Pumpkin of Video Games for joining us and showing us his dance moves. It is Hollow's E well, wait a minute. It's Hollow it's Hollow's Eve. It's Halloween Eve. All Hallows Eve. It's Halloween Hollow All Hallows Eve. Don't be deceived. All Hallows Eve is tonight. Because at midnight on Halloween is tonight and not tomorrow night, which is Halloween. The midnight tomorrow night will then be the first. So tonight is All Hallows Eve. And at midnight tonight, Halloween approacheth. Get over there. Pumpkin of video games. I have done something tremendous which I should like you to partake in should you be so inclined I have invented the ultimate Halloween drink here's what you need a glass an ice cube red food coloring spooky yellow food coloring and some bourbon and eggnog. Take your glass. Let me demonstrate here with my incredible, well, it's not really a glass. It's my water cup full of the remains of a Safeway brand seltzer water. I don't need to demonstrate. Just figure it out yourself. Put the ice cube in the glass. Three. Count them three drops of yellow food coloring two two drops of red food coloring did I say red first or yellow I meant yellow <laughs> three drops of yellow food coloring two drops of red food coloring the wizard of video games now then pour Uh, your bourbon-laced eggnog 
directly on top of the ice cube, taking care not to mix too thoroughly, and then garnish with the candy corn, and you have an incredibly bloody Halloweeny drink. Don't forget at the last minute, add a dash of cinnamon right on top for the kids. It is indeed Halloween Ninja. Welcome to the late night Halloween countdown starring the Wizard of Video Games. I am the Wizard of Video Games. I picked up something special for this night. And, well, I've been holding on to it forever. And uh, let me just give you a little taste of what it is. Look at this guy right here. Look at that guy. Spooky? Are you spooked? Here we have tonight on the Late Night Retro Halloween Countdown. We have Slice and Hook Haunted Miniature Golf. Uh, from Maverick Software. And uh, good golly. Is this even going to work? We're here to find out tonight. And scare us all in to fright let's see slice and hook twisted golf or twisted gamers as it says on the back once upon a time miniature golf was a sweet innocent little diversion so we corrected that problem the result is slice and hook 900 900 <laughs> no, 900 holes that offer a thoroughly debauched and demented way to fritter away your idle hours. Tee up, sicko. This sounds absolutely disgusting. You know what that means. It's installation time. Slice and hook requires Windows 95. We shall begin in our standard way with our Windows XP virtual machine and see if it is not as haunted as it has been. I've got millions of cords now blocking access to my CD-ROM drive. And my own things are getting disconnected all over the place. So, let's give you insight into Not Spooky Pinball. But instead, slice an apostrophe hook. 1990 something a Maverick software. Whatever. Don't forget. Fire up your Halloween Halloween? <laughs> Halloween? Fire up your Halloween as well, if you wish, but also the Halloween, your Halloween wizard bomb, as I've christened this newly invented Halloween drink. And join me in installation land. <clears throat> I have yet to capture the proper video, but here we go. Scooby-Doo was fantastic. Scooby-Doo Unmasked. Uh, probably the best Scooby-Doo game. However, I kept playing it. 
uh, later on this week, and god damn it, it got extremely difficult in its platforming. Uh, but I still loved the presentation, and everything it was fantastic. <clears throat> Do you wish to install Slice and Hook? Of course I do. Slice, apostrophe, and hook. I think I spelled it wrong. Not slice and apostrophe hook. Slice, apostrophe, and hook. I believe we have direct draw, draw installed. But let's take a look at the README, shall we? If you are having trouble completing a hole or playing the ball, remember that some holes involve puzzles or challenges to work through. What could be more spooky? In most cases, you may get help with a five-stroke penalty by clicking the Take 5 button near the bottom of the screen. Let's see... Technical support. Uh, thank you for purchasing Slice and Apostrophe Hook. Nothing too clever in the README file. Alright, let's see. Is my audio functional? We're about to find out. said that Monster Bash had one of the greatest title screens known to man I had yet to have seen the Slice and Hook haunted miniature golf title screen. And yet the music is so jaunty. I clicked. I am clicking to begin. <laughs> what? What are you looking at? <laughs> what are you still doing here? Can't you see I'm busy? You ready to play? I'm ready to witness a moron in action. Game name. Now, it is, of course, Slice and Apostrophe Hook. Who? Slice and Apostrophe Who? I've run out of characters. It's all for the best. The dump, the swamp, the ship, bad luau, trailer park, heaven and hell, the quake, and black hole are the upcoming. And uh, I got chills just reading off that list of names. The trophy room has no completed games. And the map, I guess... Select map to start. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Well, we should start at the beginning, at the dump. Wait a minute. Oh, crap.
Skeletons and sunglasses. What could be creepier? Now then, uh, the rubber chicken is ready to go. I've been given no instruction whatsoever on how to hit the ball, so let's go to the manual. Is that the chicken making that noise? Hard to say. Tips and techniques. Once the ball stops moving, the plus cursor indicates you can putt. Click and hold the rice mount mouse button to show the putter. Move the mouse to change direction and force of the putt. Try to find the shortest way possible to each hole. That is helpful. Oh my god. Now I just clicked the left mouse button and I swear to god it said click and hold the rice mouse right the rice mouse button to show the putter. A strain. Oh, I am stretching that chicken. Check it out. Nice. Never has a better power indicator been invented. How did I manage to hit directly into that whatever the heck it was? Oh god, chainsaw baby. Please leave me alone. It's got a pierced nipple and I can't stop staring at it. Oh god. What have we done? Why have we... <laughs> this was a bad idea. Oh my god. Uh... I can't tell a hole from a beer bottle. Is this bottle something good to have? It certainly looks like something I might drink. Ah, beer cans. Oh god, don't do it, butter. I told you not to do it, Potter. Well then. Yes. I am quite terrified at the prospect of my car breaking down and bellowing blue smoke. Get inside this barn type facility. And oh, it is beckoning me with rainbow smoke. Should only take about three hours to get the hang of this particular shooting mechanism. Oh my god, what is going on in here? I don't even I don't want to know. Do we? Do we want to know? Oh, let's just linger on this for a while. You know, grab your drink. Enjoy. Soak in the ambiance. As he is soaking, so let us soak in him. Ah, that tastes like...
something quite disturbing. Could have done with a little bit of. Hey, get the hell out of here, you freaking peeping Tom! Man's fix a shop is his castle. Look, I work like a pig all day long. I believe Just it. Just so I can have a couple of minutes R and R here with my good gal Tiffany. What's that, Tiffy? <laughs> hey, she likes you. <laughs> now, what are you looking for? You looking? You looking for this? Oh. oh God! Where did he pull that out from? Out of them in here, sugar pants. What are you gonna give me for it? <laughs> Think it over. Oh God! What could it be? Hey, she likes you. <laughs> oh, I dare not touch him. Oh boy. Interesting. Shampoo bottle. Oh god, no, that's not shampoo. Ah. A goldfish. And an appropriately placed drill. Well. Hey, watch it, sport. You could have turned me into damaged goods there, baby. <laughs> Hey, looks like we're having poached fish for dinner. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna throw up. The meaning a new cuisine, baby. <laughs> oh my god, no. I have to click on this, don't I? <laughs> Trying to get me to clean up my act, huh, sugar? Hey. Cleanliness got nothing to do with manliness. <laughs> Why is he wearing a fez? Does anyone know? This looks completely uh, innocuous. God, it smells like burnt Bigfoot. <clears throat> now what happened? Somehow I have failed? Oh God, I managed to freaking nail that thing yet again. Disappearing poison bottles. They're not of this dimension. Now we've entered. What is this? Some sort of strange traffic cone, soapy situation. There's flies over here in the library. Books are eating flies. This is. I have entered the desert. Now we're playing Sewer Shark. Somehow I've ended up in a different part of the dump. Except not within the nuclear waste. It's a do-over. I'll take a mulligan on that one. Uh, I did not click the button. Not sure why my ball moved.
this is this is beyond words. Sewer shark, here we come. Get away from my balls, skeleton hand. I know the school bus children are in imminent danger. Somehow I've flown back through the sewer shark. Damn you, skeleton hand. Devil, perhaps. Just have to clear the Jersey Devil, and we'll be home free. No, please dodge the teeth. Wow, that ball has some raggedy doo on it. Good lord. Dare I enter the jacuzzi zone yet again? I dare not. However, oh, there doesn't seem to be any particular exit. In the nuclear nuclear uh, area. I've already previously entered this hole. And it was a trap. I guess I really do need to uh, get back to our old pal Fez Jacuzzi. Genius. Wait, have I entered this? Oh no, Joey the hard hat. Yo, ho, He's ho, off his meds. It's off to work I go. I buried this junk because it's stuck and now it doesn't show. Who's that Fez guy? <laughs> yeah, junk, you trash, your treasures, your litter and debris. Just bring it all down to Toxic Town and dump that shit on me. Yeah! Whoa. Oh god. Oh no! <laughs> what have I done? I was attempting to close this window. This, uh, yes, weird is an appropriate description indeed. It has gone way past weird. Oh god, here he comes again. <laughs> I take it back. This game's fantastic.
control. <laughs> Mr. Fix it. That Tiffy? <laughs> hey, she likes you. <laughs> now, what are you looking for? You looking? For, you looking for this? <laughs> uh, not that particular one. We got a lot of them in here, sugar baby. What are you gonna give me for it? <laughs> Think it over. Likes you. <laughs> oh Christ. Oh god his nipples. Uh well doesn't seem to be anything else. Electrocuting him only sending me back to the beginning. Skeleton hand, stop, please. Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. 
please exit the roadkill's mouth. Oh, that is so not true. Get out of there. Go, ball, go. Slice and hook. Oh god, we're headed into the teeth yet again. Ball, go to your home ball. Some sort of strange back entrance, and I fell for it again. I'm back out to the beginning. Ah, slice and hook is brutal. Oh my god, where did my ball go? I have entered the refrigerator zone. Ah, thank you. This decrepit, frozen hockey player will not give me back my ball. What am I to do? <laughs> what is this? What is this game mechanic? I do not know. four quadrants here as I enter each he moves the ball to another zone uh, clicking makes no difference his moons and contortions are quite disturbing indeed Intensity beyond that which normal mere mortals are meant to accept. Oh god, what am I to do here? Pumpkin of video games, please help me. Help me. What am I to do about the refrigerator zombie? Any ideas whatsoever? Uh, 
Is this a puzzle? Is it a... Is it a reflex? Does it require some sort of... Incredible pattern? I don't know. Help me. Pumpkin of video games, you're my only hope. You know how whatsoever. Jeez Louise. Oh man. I know what we need. Another drink. Another sweet sip of the wizard Halloween bomb. Or the Halloween wizard bomb? The bomb wizard Halloween. Okay, let's check these out. Concentrate. Uh, is he holding his leg in his hand? Or does he just have a really long arm? Is he a lacrosse player? Perhaps... some gas at which I find entirely unpleasant and would not like to be anywhere near situation no oh god what have I done Something? No. Hey, she likes you. <laughs> Give me back my ball. Hey, watch it, sport. You're gonna turn me into damaged goods there, baby. <laughs> hey, looks like we're having Poach fish for dinner. <laughs> Teach me the meaning of new cuisine, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's it. We're going to the... Oh, I took five. And uh, it sent me out the door. I propose attempting to hit in that direction. Of course, the hitting mechanic will ensure that 
It'll be hours before we reach our destination. Brothers soiled undies, sisters potty chair, mommy's hemorrhoid squeezers, and daddy's little rotted hair. Oh god, don't do it. Not in the seat. Hmm. We're taking another five. Children, do not worry. You'll be saved from a fate worse than death. You'll enjoy the sweet release. Uh... So, it's pointing in this direction, apparently. And then... Why is it pointing back the direction which I came? to go this direction, but why? Okay, video game. I don't need to go this way. Good lord, are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. Oh god. No, not the boingy things yet again. God, I found the hole. Can you believe it? It's only been 52 minutes. <laughs> we spent an hour. We spent an hour getting to this hole, and now we've made it. We haven't put the balls. We've yet to put the ball in. But that's not going to stop me from celebrating. We've got we're nine more hours of, of game to go. Wow. 163 strokes, ladies and gentlemen. Piece of cake. Now then, the swamp. Uh-oh. It's okay, keep your shirt on, it's almost there. This seems cool. Damn chicken! Just ate my damn ball! Well, let's see. How do we get the ball back? Do we blow it up? Do we chop it in half? Or... The corkscrew? We've got to go with the corkscrew. Take that, chicken. The ball has been retrieved. The chicken unharmed. That is one resilient chicken. That's how they grow them here in the swamp. Chickens take corkscrews on a daily basis over here. Get away, you skeletal thief.
There's gators. And Jim Carrey hiding out in the swamp. Uh, a reference to The Mask from 1992. Uh, this gentleman's incredible underwater. Oh, I fell into the swamp water. Now we're underwater. I see Guybrush Threepwood hanging out down here along with. I don't know, looks like some. a crab. Uh, some sort of accordion and maybe a. a vinyl record. An electric fish, of course. Get past, watch out for the machete. Into the water yet again. Oh wow, there is very little, oh, spooky ghosts, swamp ghosts. some sort of animation anomaly occurring but we're all right we're all right uh, god damn this stupid gaming boards stop it now stop it with the dancing heads hanging from trees is not of the standard number. Some type of weird poop demon just climbed up this tree and has uh, completely freaked me out. Bigfoot runs across in the background. This has everything you need uh, to not sleep for days. Which tree am I going to hit the ball into? That's the question. Tree number one, tree number two, tree number three with the poop monster is definitely the one to go for. Wait, am I meant to go past the trees? Well, as I was saying, tree number two is the perfect tree in which to go into. Oh, God, I've been tricked. Looney Tunes style. This is... Straight out of Scooby-Doo. It's the old multi-door trick. Which way am I meant to go now? Seems to be some sort of pentagram burned into the ground. This tree has a disturbing gummy bear quality. As well, this one's got teeth. Uh, well, do I go? Which way do I go? Straight back this way? Or this? This looks like... Water. Nothing but water hazard. I've discovered the hole. I have discovered your hole. Slice and hook. And it is a disturbing hole indeed. Seems to be a secret. Or perhaps ultimate route coming this way? I dare not attempt to enter it. I only love to enter holes. And I cannot putt to save my ball's life. Well, so far, I think we're at par. Uh, it's looking good, 163 strokes. But we're going to make up for it on the next few holes. Now then, hole number three, the ship. Once again, we're plagued by... Uh-oh. 
disturbing Windows errors. It is All Hallows Eve tonight, ladies and gentlemen, so we are going long. It's 11 o'clock now, our standard stopping time, but we're going to go for the gold, and we're not stopping till Slice and Hook is defeated. Or I get really tired, so in that case, it's time for you know what, Safeway brand seltzer water, bringing us back. into the fold, the fold, and by fold I mean, uh, I don't know, now then we appear to be on a doomed vessel of some sort, uh, strange skeletal hands, Reach out from the lifeboats, ghostly apparitions, wander the deck, searching for... What is that stupid show that my daughter always watched? Cody... Someone and Cody... All aboard. I don't know what it was. You tell me. You're the Disney Channel experts. You get on the... You get on the horn with Walt Disney and ask him what that show about the two teenage twin boys serving on a cruise vessel was. We've entered a secret ballroom of sorts. One white shoe, one guitar, and a bottle of beer. It's definitely what I'll order at my last meal. Don't touch the shoe, you don't know where it's been. Oh god, what have you done? This ramp is far too inclined and is not going to let me sail right up it. clear this ramp? Apparently not. Instead, <laughs> instead uh, I'll approach it from the other direction. It was all a part of my plan. Confounds me. I have entered the bowels of the ship. Janitor's closet. Slightly ajar. Two ghosts have a fist fight. Whilst the ghostly hand delivers them. A candle, and I've yet again fallen. Uh, what have we here? I cannot say. I'm gonna have to take a moment and zoom in uh, because this is just far too difficult to discern what any of these items might be. Just a window here, and we'll be back at it. Now then, it is a wrench, thank the Lord. It's We're here in the engine room. Uh, some sort of Reese's Pieces. 
here in the corner. Oh god. Okay then. Uh, I meant to enter this. I don't believe so. What is that meant to do? Completely unnecessary button. Thank you, Slice and Hook. Oh god, the captain, we discovered him. of the iceberg, which the captain has foolishly struck. Hammers, this, we're in a strange dimension. Hammers fade in and out of existence. Golf clubs are made out of wireframes. Wrenches and skulls cavort together in harmony. Oh, I guess. Hmm, we haven't... I was hoping to... meet some sort of interesting FMV character there with the captain, but it seems we entered the proper uh, direction, uh, but no. Go in the hole, ball. I don't think I can make this ramp. That was definitely full power. No? Oh. Yeah, I'm supposed to do that. But not that, however. Oh god, not all the way back down, please! This time, quit fooling. God damn it. <laughs> I've had enough of you, ball. Get up the ramp. Oh, so close. No. Messing with me, slice and apostrophe hook. Get in that cubby hole. 
Ah, whew, man, I am winded indeed. Slice and hook, you've done me in. Everyone, concentrate! Oh, God. Wonderful. Fantastic. This time, now, I'm telling you, this time we're gonna make it. Believe in me, and believe in you, uh, believe in crystal light. And just keep stretching that chicken. No matter how many times it takes, you gotta stretch that chicken. Just keep pulling it, yanking it. Sooner or later, Dividends will be paid. Okay. Now, we'll have ourselves a light touch. Gently. Gently stretch the chicken. Don't always go full blast. Nyah. Sometimes your balls fall, but you just gotta keep pulling the chicken. Yes, maybe you'll get discouraged. Maybe... Maybe your skull will phase in and out of existence. But it's okay. It's Halloween. It is the season of... Incredibly difficult and impossible mini golf games. Okay then, here we go. That is not the proper angle. And neither is that. Any particular angle, which we might... Oh god. Maybe you're asking yourself, why am I watching a man, a wizard man, continuously hit a red ball up a far too inclined, icy cruise ship, iceberg, and I don't have anything to tell you other than it's Halloween.
Oh, jeez. That ball is in the hole. You see? Persistence pays off. If you persist, maybe you too can be the wizard of video games. Now then, we are three holes down, six to go. Next up, the graves. The graves? What does that mean exactly? Now then, uh, that is a dope looking hearse. It's got somehow the Ark of the Covenant on top. Uh, disturbing skeletal ghosts made their appearance. Let us enter the hearse and travel through as if it were a Mentos commercial. It's physics, ladies and gentlemen, of the worst kind. Slice and apostrophe hook relies on this sort of incline uh, game mechanic where I must catch the ball in these little co alcoves in order to make it higher up. Oh god, where will this game go? Where will we go? Probably insane. Oh, the moon is watching us. The eye of Sauron is always watching. And whoa. Now then, uh, wow, what is this little guy? He's just jumped to his death. <laughs> oh, kitty. What saith you, kitty cat? I've entered your lair. I find it, uh, somewhat disgusting. Which direction was I coming from? I have no clue. That is not the proper direction. Apparently. This particular hole seems to have a very good atmosphere. This particular section, however, whoa, ghost ball moving on its own. There it goes again. Stop it. Hands free gaming. Uh, damn it, ball. Exit, please. Oh, good lord. Ok. 
Get in your hole, ball. Get in your hole. No. Oh my gosh. Hey, we're back to the beginning. What a shock. A slice and hook has rendered me speechless. I can no longer speak in any sort of uh, recognizable fashion. You've broken me, slice and hook. I'm a broken man, a broken wizard. Yet I can't stop playing. Must press on. Must see where the game does go next. No matter how many strokes. No matter how many failures. No matter how much time, no matter how many lost viewers, we must continue. You know, they say it takes 10,000 hours to become an expert at any particular skill. So here we are in hour one and a quarter. Only 9,998 left to go. you thought it was going to go that time. Well, you were wrong. Oh, God, the tension that this game hath created within me. It just builds and builds. Every failure, a knife in the heart. Every success is like the sweet release of death. Ah, yeah. Perfect. Diabolical. Diabolical. Take this, Dark Souls.
Let's see some of them Dark Souls Twitch kids take this on with a guitar controller. They won't be singing those these happy tunes once they've had a taste of slice and hook. It's a battle. It's a battle of attrition, folks. We don't do it because it can be done. We do it because it must be done. I think, uh, for like, for that's, I think President Roosevelt said that when he played Slice and Hook. Pretty good progress. Things are looking up. And they're back down again. Here I can taste the size coming from and through the internet tubes. here which will send us careening down into the fragile rock zone uh, which is probably not a good idea so I'm gonna take it upon ourselves to completely screw it up Damn you, ball. Oh, that's perfect. God damn it, ball. Get in the fuck. Oh, get in that goddamn hole ball. like somebody learned how to putt. Uh, oh my good fucking god. <laughs> oh 
Oh, you son of a bitch. You goddamn son of a bitch. Oh. Ha, ah, that feels good. That feels good. exit I do not think so however I gotta at least make one attempt oh whew. we've done it again and now the oh god ghostly dog floating out of fire hydrants strange goopy glowworm why do you taunt me so Another one of these, huh? Well... Show you what we do. Oh, ghost dog, please. Go back to your slumber. Rest in peace. Hmm, these bones are disturbing. Oh god, what creature of foul and disturbing is this? Something out of Pee-wee's Playhouse. Okay, alright, no, stop it, chicken. We need to aim in the proper direction, right towards that bone, thank you. Jesus Christ. Why can't I get it between these two bones? Between the bones. The... Oh my God, another one of these. Time to enter Castle Grayskull and... Make our escape. see. Uh, is anyone bored yet? I'm feeling great. I'm excited about this game. Can the side area be entered? Apparently not. At least not without any kind of competent putting. Oh, ghost pig is 
quite disturbing. Now then, why is this area over here if it cannot be entered properly? Why is that area over there if I can't enter it? Is it just a cruel joke played on us? This entire game is a cruel joke played on everyone. <laughs> Maybe you have insomnia. Maybe you have trouble sleeping. Maybe you're disturbed by invasive thoughts. Sit right down and join me for a game of Slice and Hook. And you'll fall asleep instantly. Hey! Uh, huh. Oh, wow, this cup runneth over, and the turkey finds. Oh, I hope I've entered the underground caverns yet again. It is fantastic. Well, we were able to escape previously. We shall make a second attempt. The level of... Oh. The level of difference between a tiny tap like this and a, say, 10% power and 50% power is not uh, consistent. That's the word I'm looking for. Are you telling me that the game Slice and Hook is inconsistent in its game mechanics. That's what I'm telling you. This game, you know, 100 hour work weeks. What did the 100 hour work weeks get us? Faulty miniature golf physics. A speed run for Slice and Hook would be completely contradictory. The thing that I've learned about Slice and Hook is that its genius lies in its repetition. Slice and Hook isn't meant to be played, it's meant to be conquered. It's a battle of wills. Man versus incredibly inaccurate putting simulation aiming properties. Would you please, what is going on with this? A 
Okay, well, you're trying to tell me that if I hit the ball here... No. You're telling me there's some sort of trick. Trickery. This, this is a animal torture. Uh, themed miniature golf course and I'm quite disturbed. It seems impervious to any sort of... ...activity. So, I'm not sure that... ...anything will even come of this. That is... ...it's life, really. Slice and hook is life. Okay then. Okay, obviously, that does no good. I agree. I agree, Slice and Hook. We need to go this way. Is that going to do us any good? None whatsoever. to have nearly made it that time, but I'm not convinced <laughs> that that's what I properly need to aim for. Oh god, that ghost dog was just struck by lightning. I was interrupted by my <laughs> ghost pig is the most disturbing of all. Hmm. 
Have you ever gone on the internet and taken a look at... Oh god, that poor ghost dog is obliterated. Uh, this is the... This game is the equivalent of going on YouTube and... Watching videos of people popping their zits. Oh god, where's my ball? Where'd it go? Music has given me a new lease on life, and uh, well, maybe not. Interesting place, ball placement right under the chin. Is miniature golf really the only game or sport in which reverse progress is a constant danger? single stroke is like another nail in my coffin. We're up to 235 nails.
Okay, video game. Wow. Well done. Well done indeed. Nope, that's not close enough. Not by a mile. when the ball bounces back right off the edge of the incline. That's the part that makes my bones chill. That was disturbingly close to actually working, and I don't like that at all. This sense of hope that you've given me, Slice and Hook, will not stand. Yeah, it's not even supposed to go up there. placed my ball here as if to say shoot it from here you silly fuck well guess what that doesn't work either ghostly take five hand Is this one of those, I think this is one, I think I've discovered it, this is one of those prank video games, like Penn and Teller's Smoke and Mirrors. It's not meant to be defeated. It's all a big prank. It's impossible to defeat it. It is five minutes to Halloween here on the West Coast, ladies and gentlemen. The best coast.
We're up to 320 strokes, ladies and gentlemen. No progress in sight. It is, it is absolutely, uh, amazingly, fantastically, disturbingly depressing and oppressive and oh my god, what could be better for Halloween? this ball to know if this is the actual way to go. I mean, the game's hint system is telling me it is so. How can I believe it? proper dead end. There's no indication that it is not. Other than me whacking my ball into it numerous times. It's done. I keep pushing the wrong button. We have reached Halloween. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Halloween. Please join us in the traditional Halloween tradition. Whatever that might be. Wow. Uh, stand by, please. Oh, here we go. As the description says, this video, which I will skip the ad, 
Don't tell me this isn't amazing. We've suffered for two hours through the incredibly oppressive slice and hook from Maverick Software. And now it is Halloween. Our reward is Tim Curry. to be here with you young witches on this fabulous night. Remember girls, show the world. Let them know it's Halloween. Hit it! I wouldn't change places with anyone tonight. We'll carve Pumpkin faces and watch the witches' flight. Every human heart will shudder, every soul will <laughs> shake with fear. Tonight, the creepiest, tonight, the scariest. Tim is feeling it. Anything can happen on Halloween. Your dog could turn into a cat. There may be a toad in your bass guitar, or your sister could turn into a bat. Christmas time brings the snow. Summertime. Okay, spooky is going down. It's better than a video. Gremlin's gonna mess up every cassette from London to Idaho. April 1st can be fun. New Year's Eve is a ball. But on Halloween, your flesh begins to grow. Oh, I'm losing control. Sardine, your dentist could turn into a queen. Has anybody seen my tambourine? <laughs> a may start playing, picking the beginning. The craziest night you've ever tambourine. seen. This hairy, scary, creepy, crawling, Wow. I mean, what more is there to say other than sleep?
Boo!